Myocardial infarction is the medical term for a heart attack. It's a life-threatening condition that occurs when blood flow to the heart stops or decreases altogether which causes damage to cardiac tissue. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a quick overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. What is a myocardial infarction, aka heart attack? As we mentioned, a heart attack occurs when the coronary arteries are blocked, which stops or decreases the amount of oxygenated blood that can reach the heart. A blockage is caused by plaque buildup that often results from a diet that is high in cholesterol, saturated fats, and trans fat. Unfortunately, some people are more at risk of suffering from a heart attack than others. Here are some of the risk factors. Old age, family history, obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, high triglyceride levels, diabetes, smoking, alcohol use, high levels of stress, and physical inactivity. Some of these risk factors are out of your control, such as age and family history. However, the majority of them can be limited simply by making healthier lifestyle choices. Now let's talk about the signs and symptoms. Some examples include chest pain, chest tightness, dyspnea, diaphoresis, anxiousness, dizziness, tachycardia, tachypnea, and cyanosis. Each of these signs and symptoms plays a role in the diagnosis of a myocardial infarction. However, the following diagnostic tests are also needed. EKG, ABG, electrolyte analysis, and cardiac enzyme analysis. Some other diagnostic tests that may be useful include a stress test, angiogram, and an echocardiogram. Now let's talk about the treatment. A heart attack requires immediate treatment from the medical team, but the methods will vary from patient to patient depending on their condition. As a respiratory therapist, first and foremost, you should provide the patient with oxygen therapy at an FiO2 of up to 100%. This can be administered via a non-rebreathing mask. In general, it's common for aspirin to be given to prevent unwanted blood clotting in the coronary arteries. Some other medications that can be administered include blood thinners, thrombolytics, antiarrhythmic agents, nitrates, antiplatelet drugs, beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, and pain relievers. An angioplasty procedure may be used to unblock the arteries. A cabbage procedure may be performed as well in some cases. If a dangerous arrhythmia is present, such as ventricular fibrillation, then a shock via defibrillation would be indicated to attempt to return the patient's heart back to a normal rhythm. Again, the treatment methods for a heart attack depend on the condition and symptoms of the patient. We created this quick video just to give you a brief overview of this topic we'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Keep in mind that this video is for educational and informational purposes only. Real quick guys, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And while you're down there, go ahead and click the subscribe button as well because we have a ton of other videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. Just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for educational and informational purposes only. And if you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other helpful resources. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.